In this how-to video, I'd like to explain to you the best way to wire up the winch, the winch <laughs> in a four-wheel drive. These are quite popular. Most four-wheel drives have got them installed. A front winch is a good insurance policy in case you get bogged somewhere when you're by yourself. Most of the times that will get you out. But we hardly see any winches in vehicles that come in that are wired correctly. So this vehicle we've installed a winch into and I'd like to explain to you how we generally do that. And this has also got a backup battery in there and a lot of people like an extra battery for winching. I'll explain that as well. So first of all it is really important in our opinion to have a winch isolator. What you want to do is the positive feed coming from your start battery positive for the winch and we always recommend to wire the winch to your start battery positive because and in this vehicle there's an upgraded alternator as well that is where the alternator charges to so if you wire it like this what happens is you connect the winch to your alternator just as much as to your start battery which means you already got two power supplies going to your winch but you do want to run it through an isolator so we use these brackets here that we fabricate especially for the 70 series and it cuts battery positive so you got battery positive coming in then you've got the isolator and these are 300 amp continuous duty all uh, isolators that are being used on big mining machinery if you got any of these flimsy plastic ones throw them away because if you winch for a bit longer under high load what will happen is they get so hot the plastic melts they open contact and they don't work anymore the next time it is something that we've seen a lot and we usually replace them with these isolators don't use anything less than a 300 amp constant duty you can use solenoids as well remote controlled solenoids so you got a switch in the cap and then you got a big solenoid same rule do not use anything less than 300 amp i would say for solenoids even go to 400 at least because otherwise they get too hot if you winch for a longer period of time and then your battery negative goes directly to start battery negative that is usually the best way to wire these things up and from there the two cables positive and negative go to your winch from there on everything else is quite straightforward because it is just part of how to wire the winch so now an extra bit a lot of people say hey I'd like to install an extra battery so that when I'm winching I got some extra power you would usually do that so this is our get home safe setup where we've got a red arc SBI 12 solenoid here that when the engine runs connects and disconnects this battery automatically so if you would winch and there's a high load on it your battery voltage will drop you probably sit at about 12 volt battery voltage if you got a good battery and the engine running and what will happen in that scenario the smart solenoid will disconnect because at 12.7 volt the smart solenoid says engines off I disconnect the second battery but that's the last thing you do want in that situation because you want to have this still connected so we put an override switch in there so if you got a situation where you want to winch you have the engine running in these cars you just put it on high idle which is great because then your refs are slightly up and the alternator can actually create more charging power to the start battery you press the button for the permanent battery link so even if the voltage drops the battery stays connected and in that scenario you've now got your alternator you've got your start battery and you've got your secondary battery your get home safe battery which needs to be connected with real heavy gauge cable on positive and negative to positive and negative on your start battery obviously positive runs through the smart solenoid first so it goes battery positive, smart solenoid is right there, smart solenoid out to start battery positive. Now you see the winch is connected here as well, the alternator is connected here and your secondary battery is connected here. So you've got direct power to the winch from three power sources. That will take care of the issues that you get when the battery voltage drops and the winch doesn't have enough power anymore. So in this scenario the winch will have plenty of power and you can quite easily use the winch to its full potential the way the manufacturer intended it to be so i hope that was helpful 
This is how we wire up winches in the workshop here at Klarman Automotive Solutions. Uh, please visit our website perthpro.com.au if you want any of these products, these really cool two up Unilug battery terminals or the brackets or the 300 amp or uh, isolator. We've also got these whole wiring kits for your alternator upgrade and for your get home safe function as kits for the 70 series on our website. Uh, but you can do the same wiring on any other car for this scenario. So thank you very much for watching and see you soon.